Good evening and welcome to tonight's performance of Daniel Lee, One Year On. Can I please ask all mobile phones are put on silent, or better still thrown in the bin? We would like to remind all patrons, that's patrons not Patreons, that the fire exits are here, here, here and here. We forgot to pay the cleaner this evening. So if you could kindly pick up your own rubbish, we'd be very grateful. If anyone feels a warm wet sensation on their foot, please give Jody a call, there's a good chance she's missing a dog. In the next hour, we are going to go through a journey of some of Daniel's best, dodgy, and most embarrassing bits, as chosen by you, the fans. We, the management, cannot be held responsible for the content of what you're about to see. We would also like to stress, no robins, pigeons, frogs, dogs, or Daniels, were hurt in the making of this video. In the beginning, there was one man. A very old, very dodgy mobile phone. And a plant pot. First, let us go back to the other Sunday. Let's remind ourselves of the man. The myth. The D-Dog. And just how infectious this guy is. See you later. Long time ago, me and my brother Donald here, excuse me, they call me Orange Steel Donald. All right, Donald. We were hitchhiking down a long, lonesome road. When all of a sudden, this shiny, shiny demon And he said, play the best song in the world, or I'll beat your soul. Well, before I could say anything, Donald spoke up. And Donald said, excuse me, if I'm going to play any kind of song, it's going to be absolutely the best, the best. Excuse me, excuse me. I was like, Donald, Donald, just chill, chill out. This is a demon. He said, I, I, I don't care who he is. I don't care who this guy is. But come on. With anything we're going to do, it's probably going to be the best song in the world. Okay, okay, okay. Rudy, Rudy, let them know they're going to have a lawsuit on their hands because we're going to play the best song in the world. And I looked at Donald and I said, Okay. So we played the first thing that came to our hands. Just so we happen to be the best song in the world. Of course it did. The best song in the world. Look into my eyes and it says, I see you. One, one, make two, two, and one, make three. It was destiny. Once every year, a thousand years, so we'll send us shame. Angels, buddy, but uh, we create special, special guys. I'm a smart guy. I'm a smart guy. Rudy, tell her I'm a smart guy. I'm a smart guy. Pelosi, get in here. Pelosi, I've just bide my time. And I said, No, we are but men. Rock. song in the world. Excuse me, did you just say it wasn't the best song in the world? Because I'm sorry if I'm part of it, it's going to have to be like at least up there, at least top five. At least top five, okay? Okay? Even if this is a tribute, it's got to be up there at top five. Okay, but this is just a tribute. Can't remember the greatest song in the world. Listen, if anyone's going to forget the greatest song in the world, it's going to be Biden, okay? I mean, look at that guy. I mean, could barely string a sentence together. And they say, hey, Rambo, goodness me.
that the song we sang upon that fateful night, I don't think that it, it sounded anything like this song, did it, Donald? I'm not sure, Kermit. Either way, I think this is at least top five. I'm a smart guy. I'm a pretty good singer, too. Oh, because this may be a tribute. You gotta believe me. I wish you were there. It's a matter of opinion. It might be a matter of your opinion, but I still think it's probably one of the greatest songs in the world. At least top five. You gotta be top five. I, I, I do kind of wish you were there, but not you, Biden. Not, but not you, Biden. Not you, Pelosi. I never wish you were there. Just put me out my game. Especially when I'm doing Orange Steel. Because you gotta believe me. I wish you were there. Song. It's a really good song. You like that song? I mean, it's probably at least top five in the world. <laughs> Please sit back, relax, and let the D-Dog do his thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we give to you, Daniel, one year on. March the 19th last year. This happened. Sorry guys, not sure what happened there. Um, something to do with Google, I think. But anyway, let's wait for a few more people to come in. As I was saying, this... Um... And this, ladies and gentlemen, was the start of the whole thing. Anyway, how are you doing everyone? I hope everyone is well. Sorry about that, I'm really sorry. It's only taken me 40 minutes to get it right and I don't even know what I did. And the start of Daniel's love of... Well, tolerance of technology. Good evening. How is everyone doing? Can you hear me okay? How's the picture? As the weeks rolled by, Daniel began to grasp all things tech. Two, two. Am I in? Is that in? Is it doing that pesky thing again? Am I in there? How are we doing now? Are we in? <laughs> yeah, am I there? Good. It's doing that thing again. This was the moment. He never looked back. Our frontman, entertainer, and weeknight staple. Turn to Tech Corner. Hey. Two, 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 hey. Two, one, two. Let me know if my guitar is too loud, guys. If my guitar is too loud, do let me know, please.
Now you know how it all began. Let's get the to stuff. You really want to see. It's story time with Dan. Alright, you wanna you want you wanna know what happened in my weekend? Do you wanna know what happened to my weekend? Okay. Story time. So if you're not into stories, then leave. <laughs> okay. So yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Um I was rudely awakened. Rudely awakened by um was really awakened by this noise which sounded like the neighbors were moving uh the neighbors were moving something in the attic and it sounded like something was going to come through the roof and then i heard so the house we live in is quite an old house um and it's there was all this like sediment and stuff started falling down the uh the the chimney which is boarded up but i could hear it all coming down i was like what the hell's that but it sounded like something up top was shaking it all loose anyway so then I start hearing scratching on the inside of the board inside the chimney, and I'm like, oh. and it became quite clear that a pigeon or a bird of some description had come down the chimney. I'm like, oh, damn it! So then I move the bookcase, which is in front of it, and I'm like, I can hear it on the other side. I'm like, well, I can't just leave it there because if it dies and then it rots, it's going to stink out the house, and then the bird's going to die, and I'm going to have that on my mind. It's going to be like some crazy Edgar Allan Poe shit. Um, if you get the reference, and so I was like, okay, well, we got to get this thing off. So I, I, I pigeon-proofed my room, got all these sheets out. I got a duvet sheet out, right? Opened up the window. So I've given it this thing a like easiest access to escape path, right? And I, I'm ready to pull. I so I got a hammer. And I, I'm I'm pulling all the tacks off of this board, and I'm I I put my hands inside a duvet sheet, right? So I am ready to guide this thing, out, guide it out, right? And I look up, and I inside I see, I see this pigeon, and he's he's up on top. I I thought it was just gonna panic, come out, fly out, job done. No 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 no, it didn't have to. We didn't want to make life easy, did it? So what happened was. I look inside the chimney, I think, oh, maybe this thing's dead. And it's up on the, the slope, and it's just, it's just resting there. Asleep! So I'm like, ah, oh, are you kidding me? So I'm thinking, if I just reach in, so I've got the duvet over my hands, so if I just reach in, I'll pick it up. And I can take it over to the window. Be free! Fly! Little bird. So I go to grab it, it sort of panics a bit, and it moves over to the left. I'm like, damn it. And I'm thinking, ah. Oh, you know when an animal sort of squirms in your hand? I don't know if some animal lovers might not get it. I mean, I'm not really much of an animal person, but like, if like an animal does, I I think I'm going to break it. So it, it sort of grosses me out a little bit, weirds me out at least. I just don't want to hurt it. So I think, ah, oh, something. Come on, you're a big, strong man. Go and grab it. Just and stop being an idiot. So I go to grab it again. Now it freaks out and it. I can't quite see what's going on because I've got the sheet over me and it falls down to the sheet. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I, I look down to see where, I'm like, where the hell is it gone? Is it, I'm waiting for it to like fly up or do something. And I look down, it's in the bottom of the sheet and the sheet's moving. And I'm like, oh man, this, this stupid thing has wrapped itself up in the sheet. So I'm like, what do I do? If I pull it off, it's like, is it just going to flap and go crazy? And I didn't want to cover it because I didn't want to give it a heart attack or something because these things panic. So I was like, right, well, this is happening now. You and me, buddy, we're going for it. So I just wrapped this thing up. I yanked it up, so I just got it in this, like, loose sack. I'm running towards the door, and I think it's going to fall out of the end, and I'm, like, picking it up like this. I run down, and my dad's like, have you got it? I'm like, yes, I've got it. And I'm like, clear a path. And, and like, so we're running down the stairs. We run out, like, uh, into the into the garden. I'm on the patio, and he's like, take it down the bottom of the garden. I'm like, okay. So I take it down to the bottom of the garden. I throw the sheet open. And I think this thing's dead because it's just not moving. So I sort of opened it up and it sat there like zen. <laughs> it's just not moving. It just sat there like, just like, like nothing is happening. I guess maybe playing dead or something. And it just sat there. It looked fine. And I just pulled the sheet off it a little bit more. And, and it was free. 
and it flew away. And it did this big circle or around its sort of territory, I guess, to figure out where the hell it was and what the hell it had done. And it was alive. So that was that was my very eventful Easter, Easter morning. And um, yeah, I was thinking, well, my, my dad said, like, you know, he's lived in this house. About f- you know, the house has been in the family name for about 47 years or something. Never has anything like that happened. So what a strange, strange coincidence. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, I've got to tell you something funny. Uh, so uh, we were sorting out before I go. I'm going to bounce off to Twitch in a second. But before I go, I'm going to tell you a funny story. Story time. So I'm sorting out my dad's email. And uh, he's like, it's not working. It's not working. And uh, so I'm trying. He goes, I'm trying to send a. Uh, he's trying to send an email to my aunt, and he's like, you know, it's all going wrong. I tell you what, patience. The patience that you have to have to to teach uh, teach some of the boomer generation how to y- use email. <laughs> anyway, uh, so he's so he's doing it right, and I'm trying to send this email, and it's going, it's going error. Um, one or more email addresses isn't valid. So I'm like, what is going on? So I look at the email. It says Aconite Gray AT at hotmail.com. At. He wrote at. I mean, oh. <laughs> oh, dear. The excuses that came out of his mouth. It was fantastic. It was beautiful. <laughs> Manuela says the full moon is to blame for me going so quirky. Maybe. I'm not gonna rule it out. I do have um there has been there has been times in the cycle where, where I've I've been like, oh man, I feel like it's just a bit mental today. And people are going, full moon, I'm like, is it? And they're like, yeah, it's that time. You've gone a little bit crazy. You know, where I'm where the D dog just has to be like, oh, Bark at the moon. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I was talking to New Devices' uh, uh, first guitar. Well, one of our first guitarists of the day is a very dear friend of mine, uh, still Phil Kinman, and he was. He was. <laughs> we were reminiscing on when I wrote the vocal line to this. And okay, I'm not. I'm not the most punctual of individuals. I'm like a wizard, yeah, in the sense that I. I've actually started watching Lord of the Rings. Really good. <laughs> I've seen them before, but I haven't seen them in years, so I started watching them again. And when Gandalf was like, Frodo, a wizard is never late, nor is he early. A wizard arrives exactly when he intends to. I was like, yeah. Preach. Huh? Huh? Anyone? Huh? It's like, that guy gets it. Or I'm just a wizard. Anyway. As I'm not very punctual, I was supposed to be, while I was writing the vocal lines to this, I was, <laughs> I was supposed to be at a barbecue, right? Now, I, never in my life have I been more glad to not be at a barbecue. Not that it wasn't a good time, but Phil was so annoyed when I turned up late. Oh my goodness, was he annoyed with me. And I was like, no, no, dude, it's okay, it's okay. I've got something. And then he did forgive me eventually. Giving you guys uh, a little bit of light entertainment. My goofy self. How am I looking on the stream? Because I'm I'm looking at I look at my sometimes I look at myself in the mirror and I think, yeah, keeping the gains on. I'm doing all right. Like I've got this like little Beetlejuice head. If you get the reference, I've got a little Beetlejuice head. When I look at myself and then I look at myself back on the stream, and it looks like I've turned into a Tyrannosaurus Rex with this huge flipping head. So I don't know. I don't know what if if it's the camera. The camera is not adding ten pounds. Maybe it's adding ten pounds to my head. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Uh. Thank you, Dan, for those stories. I think. I mean, it's unusual for you to talk for so long. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's remind ourselves of a song that means so much more to us a year on. <laughs> I'm going to play, this is a song, uh, guys, we've never been through anything like this before, not, not this, not like this, um, I wrote this song, uh, 
about a, a young couple uh, in the Second World War, and he is about a pilot who goes away to um, to fight. And he has to leave his girl, and she's everything to him, he's everything to her, and, spoiler alert, he doesn't come back. Now, that's something that not very many of us these days really do experience on that sort of level like they're experienced in the UK, across Europe, um, and, you know, across the world. It was a world war, two world wars, man last century so this is something else for us that we're going through now and I think there seems to be a lot a lot of in, like people just looking out for themselves now but I think what this you know this chat and this this stream is really about is, is bringing people together um, you know just to feel good for a little while and if we can help each other out in these times I think that's very very important but this song is probably more relevant to me now than it ever has been. Uh, this song is called Four Better Days. Winston on the wireless, it was July of 41. Training was all over, but the war was not yet done. I smiled and held you tightly, guess you cried into my arms. Looked up at me with big blue eyes, saying, Don't come to no harm. Because when I stood, I stood up tall, somewhere I would never fall. Tell me what do you see when you see me? Can you see me? Yeah. Because when I stood, I stood up tall, swore that I would never fall. Tell me why do you hear when you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. You stand alone, my dear. Out of here and live for better days. We'll stand alone, my dear. Out of here and live for better days. Count of all the takeoffs and the dogfights in the sky. I wanted to be out here, but I can't remember why. I go up, you're on my mind. The special girl I left behind. Well, that's just the way it goes. So I knock them down like diamond overboards. And when I stood, I stood up tall. Swore that I would never fall. Tell me why do you hear when you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Cause when I stood, I stood up tall, swore that I would never fall. Tell me, why do you see when you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? Yeah, we'll stand alone, my dear. Looking out of here, live for better things. We'll stand alone, my dear. Looking out of here, live for Stood up tall. You never meant for me to fall. I'm sorry that you'll never see me. You won't see me again. Cause when I stood, I stood up tall. You never meant for me to fall. But listen for my voice and you'll hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Now you're alone. Now you're alone, my dear, please get out 
And, more recently, this happened. This is how brave I'm getting because I usually would do it near the end, not in the middle where I, I have like a load of songs to potentially be ruined by my throat closing up because I uh, got all choked up. Okay, I'm gonna play uh, plays now. This uh, song's Hallelujah. Maybe there's a 
Daniel has shown time and time again, the emotion and his very soul he puts into each and every song, can reduce you to tears. This incredible human being, also has the ability to make you laugh, uncontrollably. And begin to know it But then I know it's going strong Was it the spring? The spring became the summer Who'd have believed you've come along? Oh, here we go Touching hands, <laughs> God, just like Malloy's in Watford, <laughs> reaching out, touching me, touching you, sweet Caroline. Your times never seem so good. I'd be inclined. To believe it never would But now I'm Look at the night And it don't seem so lonely We fill it up with only two And when I'm hurt Hurt runs off my shoulder how can I hurt when holding you? This one, this one, you can't do it. One. <laughs> Touching one. Touching <laughs> Very good, Henry. Touching me. Touching you. Oh, sweet Caroline. Your times never seem so good I'd be inclined To believe it never would Oh, sweet Caroline Your times never seem so good I'd be inclined Goodness, that was that was more than audience participation. Thank you very much. Oh, I will hire you guys. Yeah, I have a bunker that I need you, you all in. Much, appreciate it. Do appreciate it. All right. <laughs> all right. So this next one. 
Now, uh, I am, I'm not really a Taylor Swift fan, and I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone just wants to hear me do the bit at the end. I'm pretty sure there's a ruse uh, or a conspiracy, one or the other. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a fun song, and it's been requested. It's on the list. I can't. I've only myself to blame. <clears throat> have never really been my thing, but I'm sure I would have like, you know, shown some moves if I had the opportunity. The D-Dog moves. Who let the D-Dogs out? Who, 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 who let the D-Dogs out? Who, 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 who? Because <coughs> the player's going to play, 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 and the is going to play, play. Break is gonna break, 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 break. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. Shake it out, shake it out. Oh, it's gonna play, 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 play. It's gonna break, 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 break. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. Shake it out, shake it out. <laughs> 
What's the deed of go? Deed of away, ladies and gents. Keep up if you can. Shake it up, 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 shake it up. That's a shimmy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh dear. What have you guys tuned into tonight, eh? <laughs> oh dear, I'm having so much fun. You guys have been such a source of joy for me this year. Along with the live streams, Dan has still worked hard in the background, with not only his band's Jordan Red and New Device, but also his own solo projects. Whilst we listen to the next song, we'll scroll past the most notable achievements of the last year.
Along with that incredible list of achievements, Daniel has raised hundreds of pounds for charities over the last year. Crisis at Christmas Movember PTSD Resolution British Legion Poppy Appeal and, the British Heart Foundation. Always pushing himself, Dan has most recently started additional shows on Twitch. Chill Out Tuesday, and Right Off Wednesday, are now a new constant. Along with those extra shows, Dan has still found time to give yet more back to his fans. Giving those who choose to, the option to pick the songs for an evening, which he will perform. With as much passion, as if the songs were his own. There is really so much. You have crammed into a year Daniel. We couldn't possibly get it into a one hour video. After this stream, you will receive an invite to a private group. There, you will be able to read all the comments, and clips people have chosen. That haven't made it into this video. For us, there is no other song to end this video on. Please do what you do best Daniel, one last time this evening. Snow goes white on the mountain tonight, not a footprint to be seen. Of isolation, and it looks like you're the queen. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, wrong track. They're rocking. Bit of Alter Bridge.
That just leaves me to say, thank you to everyone who has taken a seat in the cinema this evening. Please remember to take all your tissues home, you did remember to bring tissues, right? It's a good job we didn't tell you. There is a brand new pool table behind the wall on the left. Before you all go, there is just one more thing we haven't done. How silly of me. Can you guess what it is? Stay frosty. Stay frosty. Stay frosty, everybody. Stay frosty, guys. I want you to stay frosty. Stay frosty. And uh, I want to say, take care of yourselves. Take care of those around you. Eat well, please. Do some exercise. I'm going to keep saying it. Just get up, move, go for walks, you know, train with someone. Do a Zoom training session. Whatever it is you got to do, do it. And stay frosty. Thank you for being with me tonight. That incredible rendition of Blackbird, brings us to the end of this hour. To quote someone we know, didn't that go fast? That just leaves us to say, once again, thank you Daniel. For giving us all one of the best years. Now let's get out there and meet real people again, play real gigs, and get this solo record out there for the world to see.